What's up, guys? Frugal BC talking some news from Sweden Network, which was one of my new favorite crypto projects. I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I like that, and actually, that'll actually integrate with the news because as as they talk about some of the news within Sweden Network, uh, it's gonna kind of explain some of the things I like about it. So we're gonna look at that today. Uh, today's Frugal BC. Before we do that, guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, remember you don't have to smash it; you can just press it gently. And wanna. Give a big shout out to our sponsors, non-fungible domains. If you want that dot algo address instead of all those complicated letters and numbers, you can do that with non-fungible domains. Link in the description below. And we are brought to you by Fractal Monsters, a play to earn game on the Algorand blockchain. You can now get a free monster just by going to Fractal Monsters website. So check out links for both of those in the description below. It's underneath my uh, my talking face here. And beyond that, let's just get to the video. Again, you know, I, I brought this up a little bit on the live stream recently, but there's innovations that I really like on Sweden Network. And uh, rather than just talk about it right now, the, the, some of these things are going to come up in the video. So let's just... Uh, Let's dive right in and take a look. And the first uh, piece of information here is just FF, FFDUSD, I can speak today, just announced that they're gonna be launching their stablecoin FDUSD on which is the fastest growing stablecoin in crypto on SWE, making it the first one-to-one -one back dollar native stablecoin on the network. So this is really important. Uh, Algorand, HBAR all have stablecoins on their network. And now SWE does too. Now SWE is a pretty new crypto project. It's less than a year old. So really cool stuff going on. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about that. Let's see. Now FDUSD has a market cap of $3.3 billion and has seen the fifth highest trading volume across the industry, including $8 billion of volume on a single day that's a lot of volume vincent chuck ceo at first digital hq be on stage at sweet base camp well that would never already have happened now because this is we're a little far back on this because fd usd has quickly become the fourth largest stable coin since its launch last year under hong kong's digital asset regulations benefiting from crypto exchange binance's trading promotion uh, so sui is the third one for fd usd it's already available on ethereum and bnb those are really two really big chains so for sui to be number third that's a pretty big deal and the integration as part of an effort to make the token more embedded into the decentralized finance space. First Digital CEO said in an interview with Coindesk. So yeah, that's an important step forward for Sweden Network. Like I said, SWE is becoming one of my fastest ones. You'll see in the especially in the last news item that I relay here that there's some really cool stuff going on. Now this latest one really blows me away. This is this was announced at SWE Base Camp this year. Uh, we're excited to share the first handheld gaming device with native Web3 capabilities. And that is the SWE Play OX1 powered by Playtron. So let's just take a look at that thing. I mean, it looks really cool. You can sign in with looks like Twitch or Google, all that good stuff. So it looks like it'll actually be set up. I, it has like Google sign in. That makes me think that it'll be uh, uh, it makes me it makes me think that this will be optimized maybe for like streaming to YouTube, which would be really great for me. But just look at this. I mean, it looks uh, it's it's a pretty cool looking device. I think I, I've heard some comments that maybe it wasn't so uh, so cool looking. I I I think it looks good. You know, now I, how what kind of market will there be for this thing? I'm really not sure. But I think I think they did a good job designing it. it looks a lot like the Nintendo Switch, which some people said would be trouble would be a, a difficult thing. Now, what I think is cool here is that. You can create your account with your Google login, and that is one of the things, the ZK login, the zero knowledge login. It's a feature on SWE that I really like that I think a lot of crypto project, a lot of cryptocurrency foundations ought to be focusing on developers, however you want to say it. Uh, let's just read a little more about this. It says SWE Play OX1 runs Playtron's device agnostic gaming operating system, enabling gamers to play both Web3 and Web2 games across PC and mobile. The device will be available in stores worldwide 2025. So yeah, that's, that's going to launch pretty quick. 2025 isn't that far away. We're already into April of 2024. So this is uh, Denny Yi from, uh, he's the co-founder CPO at Mistin Labs. Listen, Labs is one of the big game developers on SWE Network. I get a lot of info from them on SWE. They, they're, they're really active in the space. So they kind of compare this to uh, Steam Deck, which I, don't, I wonder how popular that was. Very interesting. I really do think it's a slick looking device and I like that it's focused on Web3. Do you guys know about Playtron too? I don't know much about that either. The SWE Play OX1 is made possible by Playtron's device agnostic gaming operating system, Playtron OS, which will be compatible with various hardware configurations. The Playtron is a building an ecosystem like much like android the open mobile and pc operating system it's an open operating system across multiple devices and multiple companies said kirk mccaster ceo of playtron we're building a new gaming operating system right right to open up the pc quite grammatical 
Uh, effectively, we're attempting to extract the PC gaming ecosystem from Windows and recontextualize it in our own operating system. That gives users the access to all of the stores, Steam, Epic Game Store, GOG, etc., but all in a single launcher. You can sign in with your Steam account, you can sign in with your Epic Games account. All your games will appear in a single launcher, they'll work in a single operating system. That's kind of cool. We Play OX1 will be the first handheld gaming console with native Web3 capabilities and will be available in stores worldwide from 2025. So, uh, yes, okay, let's talk talk about this. The Sweet Play OX1 is powered by Playtron's device agnostic gaming operating system and boasts native Sui blockchain integration via ZK login and Sui Kiosk SDKs, enabling asset ownership directly connected to a device's account system for the first time in the gaming industry. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what I really like. I like this ZK, this ZK login because what this does, it's, it's zero knowledge login. It allows you to log into crypto with your crypto wallet without using actual crypto login types of things which are, I'll tell you, this stuff like really baffles people who aren't in crypto. So, you know, you can feel nice and superior that you understand this stuff and other people don't, but at some point, like it has to be usable by people who aren't like super crypto native. And so that's what one of the things I really like about We Network. And I think this is a big, this, this is one of my favorite features here. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff on We Network is making it adaptable for other people. This is why I'm a big fan of. Okay, so the other one I want to talk about is, uh, this is really interesting too. This comes from Inoki. It's really Really illustrates a lot of concepts that I like about SWE. So let's take a look here. Direct from SWE Basecamp. So a lot of our news is coming from SWE Basecamp today on Noki is live. Sign up at inokimistonlabs.com. Let's see what we got here. Customers want more enjoyment, personalization, value. You need less fragmentation. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, a lot of this is about reducing friction and expense. This is kind of like a, this is kind of like basically creating gateways into into crypto. All right, that video is like kind of it's. Let's just let's just dive into the actual text here. Um, Inoki allows enterprises to offer embedded wallets so customers can truly own their assets, access an open data layer to power engagement strategies across multiple channels, and build solutions with APIs and SDKs. No new languages needed. Um, initial suite features available through Inoki include ZK Log, and there it is again, frictionless, frictionless account creation. This is really cool too. Inoki gas pool to sponsor transactions and reduce the need for funding wallets. So why is this important? You can have the gas a gas pool that allows your users to come in and just use it you don't have to make sure you have a certain amount of sui in your wallet to be able to start using start playing around with this stuff and that's big that's a big deal because that's one of the irritating things of crypto is like i always have to have just even even at the very start even if you create a wallet for someone they're not going to have the the crypto in it even the tiniest amount of crypto on uh, applications or in crypto languages that even on crypto platforms that have really low fees you still need something in it right so this helps this helps uh the, the, it helps with onboarding like big time and sweet ns to offer end users human readable account names which we also like because it's in the lv3 x22 blah 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 that's yeah and let anoki be that this is important let anoki be the blockchain expert so you can focus on creating the best customer engagement strategies and so it's a sort of this is sort of like crypto in a box basically this is like here's a here, here's a platform so you you can have crypto stuff, the crypto aspect to your business. You don't have to do all the crypto coding and all the nonsense. Just kind of a kind of a done for you service there. And I, I think that is, this is what I like seeing. This is why I like Sui so much. I know people like I've I've gotten a little bit of pushback. Something about like the uh, the fact that the fact that some of the people in it used to work at Facebook. Well, everyone has to work somewhere. Like <laughs> I, that, that that to me alone is not a disqualifier. Like if Facebook were funding it or something, and yeah, then maybe. But uh, consumers are ready for a cookie-less future built on personalized experiences using zero party and first party. Enter Inoki as a director of product, product and commerce at Miston Labs, Lola One. They have, a blog, they have a blog. We can talk a little bit more about that. But I just think it's a great. Uh, that's a great platform, and I think it's really important. I think this will be. This kind of stuff is the kind of stuff I like to see in crypto because, you know, my big problem with crypto is how friction, how full of friction it is for new users. And I'll tell you, as someone who's like onboarded some people to crypto, this stuff gets really, really complicated and out of their wheelhouse fast. Now, people like you and I, we're, we, we're kind of used to crypto. We're used to being able to do this stuff. You're not going to bring in new people until this stuff is like really easy to use and understandable and comprehensible and stuff that you and I might take for granted, like even just setting up, like setting up a pair wallet and Algorand, like it seems 
pretty easy to you and I probably. Probably didn't the first time though. It probably took a little understanding, right? But I'll tell you, I've worked with some people and you'd, you'd be surprised at the things that kind of like trip them up. Uh, you, you and I might not even think about. That's why I like seeing stuff like this. I think I think Sweet is uh, I think Sweet is going in the right direction. I think they're doing the kind of things that I personally think a lot of a lot of projects in crypto should be doing. A lot of uh, Algorand should be doing this. Hedera should be doing this. You know, and they're kind of doing that with uh, the uh, D DREC Alliance for their the decentralized recovery. That's a that's a big deal too. I hope we see something. I, I'd like to see Sweet join that as well. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm getting pretty bullish on Sweet. I know it's like not really very popular um, for people to read about right now, which is really strange because it's doing really well. It's already in the top 100 being a pretty new cryptocurrency. So, but I would go check it out. I would check out their games. Uh, I played a couple of them. They're pretty fun. Unfortunately, some of the ones I really wanted to try are on PC and I'm fortunately still on Mac. So starting to think about really, really, really seriously thinking about switching over from Mac because I'm sick of like, for some reason, just never being able to play anything. <laughs> it's kind of irritating, but uh, yeah, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, if you want to see more sweet content let me know in the comments below or let me know what you think about this maybe you hate sweet all right tell me that too otherwise uh i'm frugal vc like and subscribe if you haven't already uh we got channel memberships too you can actually join a live stream uh through our channel membership if you're interested in that otherwise uh i'm frugal vc stay safe out there and i will see you in the future